in our department, I think one of the things that hopefully makes us stand apart from other universities is our commitment to production opportunities. We're really dedicated to this philosophy that you learn while doing. We knew that it was vital that we still continue to provide some kind of live performance opportunities, even if they had to be under very different circumstances and very different limitations on them. I have myself have been surprised and inspired by the amount of creativity and critical thinking and problem solving that's gone into making this possible. Some of those included having all of the participants, the actors, the crew be masked during all of rehearsals. We did temperature checks every day for everyone who, who came in. We, of course, continued to make sure we were staging things in a socially distant way. Pretty quickly decided that trying to do it in what's called alley seating with the audience on two sides really works well for social distanced staging because the actors can't really stand close to each other when talking or else too many people in the audience can't see their faces, so it helps to have them spread out. It's a rom-com, which means typically there's some kissing, holding of hands, there's embracing. We don't have any of that, but we've gotten really clever how to still show people coming together, being connected in unique ways. There's even some combat. It's a little tough to do a wrestling scene in the pandemic, but we, again, got creative on that. I'm really pleased with how that, that turned out, too. From the audience point of view, that was really important as well, that we were smart about how we could allow people to come share this with us. We requested that audience members wear masks, we spread them out into little squares, six feet apart from one another. The response, especially from the public, has been incredible. We actually sold out several times. Nobody knows when we're going to be able to move on from this. We can't possibly know what theater and performing arts are going to be like in the future, but I have found through this process that there is nothing at all to despair about.